Hi, I'm Glenn Everett, Master of Machines. Thanks for tuning in everyone. I've got something a little bit different for you this episode. Now we weren't going to do a feature video on this engine dyno. We've got engine dyno features lined up like you wouldn't believe. They're all waiting in the editing room to be edited. There's about five or six engines, all types of engines. This was an engine 308 that was built for a customer to go into a HQ GDS Monaro. He wanted stock appearance. Didn't want to go too overboard with power, something nice and streetable bit of a camshaft and what have we, but of course here at Powerhouse we get a little bit carried away and we did a few little tweaks and tricks inside. And I've got to say, we're halfway through the dyno process and I thought I've got to rip the camera out, I've got to get the camera out. This thing has just cracked 337 horsepower. There's more in it. Let's have a look at it. I'll give you a bit of a rundown. We'll just flip the camera around here. So here it is. Early 308. You want to see the car it's going into, absolutely spectacular. Beautiful blue HQ four-door GDS. Hence the stock appearance. It's not been painted yet. The owner is a pretty handy painter, so he wants us to leave it raw. He's going to sort that side of things out. It's got a set of pacemaker tri-wire pipes on it. Just a pretty standard run-of-the-mill pipe from their range. Uh, they're not a race pipe, only a two-inch collector. Uh, standard inlet manifold. Look at that. Stock inlet manifold. Quadrajet carb. Now the cylinder heads have had a bit of massaging in house here at Powerhouse. So they've had a little bit of work in the short turn radiuses and a little bit of massaging in the bowl area under the valve. Other than that, the ports are pretty much as cast. Exhaust and inlet everywhere else. It's got L34 valves in it, so it's got oversized valves. But other than that, they're just early HQ cast cylinder heads. It's got 10 to 1 compression. It's got a Hypertech style uh, TIK pistons in it. Standard prep con rods with ARP bolts. Camshaft is a custom powerhouse design with about 230 at 50 thou. And we have a split on the exhaust. So we've got a slightly larger exhaust duration. We can't give away all the secrets. We've got to save up them for the customers. <laughs> but we like to give you a fair idea of what's being done here because it's interesting. It's a hydraulic flat tappet camshaft uh, with an LS1 rocker conversion. So they work quite well. Other than that, it's been balanced and blueprinted to absolute perfection. The workmanship and the machining here is just mind blowing. I've worked in the performance industry all my life. Work with a lot of people, work beside a lot of engine builders, used a lot of different engine builders, and I've never seen such pedantic methods that I've seen here with the guys in action at Powerhouse. It is really a sight to behold. It's next level stuff, and I, I just can't get enough of it. I love it, and that's why you'll see me here all the time pulling on a lever on this dyno. Can't get enough of it. So we've been playing around with the, uh, the old Quaddy. The Quadrajet, quite a good car, but I think they're around 725 CFM and, and beyond. There's various sizes available. And, uh, you know, big secondaries, small primaries. They're running quite lean initially. So we've been playing with the uh, secondary metering rods. And uh, we've got a bit more fuel into it now. But we just cracked 337 horsepower last run. And I thought, oh my goodness, we've got to get the camera out and show this engine. It's beautiful to pump the bonnet on such a car and see a stock engine there. Intake manifold, the whole lot, yet to have that sort of performance. That's, that's damn impressive. So what we're going to do now is we've I've put some, uh, some different metering rods in it. We just added a little bit more fuel. It's just starting to lean off a little bit upstairs. And we're going to run this thing up, see if we can make a bit more power. So let's run it up see how much we can squeeze out of this thing. Okay, so here we go. Ramp this baby up. We're up to temp, all pressure's good, everything's looking great. Have 
to listen to that quadrajet. Induction noise. Well, the fueling's okay now. She's definitely richer, but that's 332 horsepower. We've lost a few horsepower. It was lean and mean before. So now what we need to do is put some ignition timing back into it and get that fire burning a little bit more furious. <laughs> Three thirty eight point nine horsepower and three hundred and fifty eight foot pound of torque. <laughs> That's an impressive combination. This close to three hundred and forty horsepower with a standard inlet manifold. Okay, here we go. I'm going to crack three forty horsepower or what? Place your bets. Come on, baby, you can do it. You can do it. It's a little bit more ignition timing, that's all you needed. Come on! Okay. Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> I knew it! 340 horsepower, 343 horsepower and 363 foot-power torque! Wow! You gotta love that, don't you? <laughs> well, I've gotta say I am absolutely ecstatic with that result. 343 horsepower and 363 foot-pound of torque, this thing's gonna be an absolute tire shredder. For what it is, I mean, stock appearance, beautifully concourse restored car, a perfect engine, but still with the performance. You just can't go wrong. I can't wait to see the look on the owner's face when we tell him it's made 343 horsepower when he was expecting something like 300, maybe 310. So it's done well. And it just goes to show that that factory Holden manifold is not so bad. It's not so bad. Sure, there's more power left in this thing, a decent manifold on it and a few other little tweaks and maybe a, uh, a slightly larger car, but it could make, you know, somewhere into the sort of 350, even possibly closer to 360 horsepower, which would be a stout thing for virtually standard heads. That's what you've got to remember. It's an incredible result. So anyway, stay tuned. We've got a lot more episodes coming up. We've got a 440 cube Windsor, big banger that we dyno, that's uh, in the editing room at the moment waiting to be cut for you all to see. And we've got a 427 LSX engine, pretty mean thing. There's, there's a little Holden 138 grey motor going into a concourse restoration. There's all types of different engines here running through Powerhouse. And I've got to say, I am having an absolute ball, an absolute ball. So make sure you subscribe and then you won't miss a video. We put a lot of effort into these a lot of time, something like 30 hours goes into the edit on each video, so I want them to look good. I want you to enjoy it. And if you can just subscribe, it will help us with this channel. Keep it all rolling along. Make all those late nights worthwhile. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.